Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So today in this video, we are going to solve today's lead code problem for April lead code challenge. So today's problem is optimal partition of a string, right? So as usual, first of all, we'll be going through the problem statement. Then we'll be having a look on the logic as well as the code part. So with that note, let's get started. Before proceeding further, make sure to join my telegram group right over there we have approx 10,000 members right so we do have a discussion regarding job opportunities or certain other technical questions or whatever queries is there so you can be a part of that channel and so do join so let's get started now the problem says given a string s partition the string into one or more substring such that the characters in each substring are unique that is no letter appears in a single substring more than once return the minimum number of substring in such a partition note that each character should belong to exactly one substring in a partition right so we are having a string and what we have to do is we have to partition the given string into one or more substrings in such a way that character in each substring should be unique there should be no repetition right or you can understand that in a single substring letter should uh, no letter should appear more than once so we have to return the minimum number of such substrings that we can have okay so let's understand with the help of an example so here we are having the string a b a c a b a so c first we can take this a right then we can have this b a right then c a b then this a right so in this way the pos this is the possible partition the other possibility is that we can have a b right first partition then we cannot take this a because uh, if we will take this in one partition so a is repeating which is not allowed then a c then a b a right so it can be seen that 4 is the minimum number this is the minimum number of substrings that is needed this is the minimum number that we can have now talking about this string so here we have the character s and it is repeating right so we have to take each character individually so minimum number of partition for this one we need 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have to consider all these characters individually right so output would be six right so i hope the problem statement is clear to you now talking about the logic part right so what we have to make sure is like how we'll def uh, how we will determine if we can somehow tell that okay the character on which we are right now we have seen that or not before okay so let's say let's take this string right so First, we have a so to uh, make sure of this part that we have seen a particular character before or not. What we'll be doing is we'll be taking a set here. <coughs> okay, we'll be taking a set. Uh, now, first character is A in the string. So we have not seen this A, right? We are adding it. Okay, then we have B. We have not seen this. We are adding it, right? Then again we have A, right? So a we have seen right we have already seen also this a b c at least one partition would be there no matter what the string is at least one partition would be there so we are initializing our answer variable that will be returning at the end with the one right so first partition became our a b right after that c after this a b we have to make a partition why because this a is repeating right so we cannot have this a in this first partition right then this a c this set contains this character which is nothing but a right so what we are doing is we are incrementing the value of answer so answer uh, would be incremented and it would be two now and c so whatever values we have taken for the previous partition let's call it as first partition first partition we have a b so what we are so now we don't care about the because this we have removed right ye hamare pehle partition mein to usme kya values thi usko ab hame ab keep track nahi rakhna hai na kyunki ye ek alag partition mein chala gaya ab to that's why what we are doing is we are clearing the set right we are doing here set dot clear right so uh, now we are adding this a right we are adding this a again because we have seen it right the first partition became okay let me write here first partition became our ab then we are checking on this partition so we have seen a as of now then uh, we'll be hoping on to this c so uh, set 
set does not contain c right so theek hai okay we'll be adding c as well then again what we have seen we have seen a and a is already there a is already there in our, in this partition right so we cannot take this it means we will we'll be updating the value of answer so before answer was what it was 2 now it is going to be 3 right and uh, we'll be clearing the set so now in the set we are adding this a that we have seen just now a okay now we'll be hoping on to this b so is b present in this partition no not as of now just a is there so we'll be adding this b right okay now again we'll be going through it we'll be going through it now we have what now we have what a a is present in this partition right a is present in this partition so we cannot take this a if it is already present we cannot take this a so what we'll be doing is uh answer plus plus so we need four partitions and we are clearing the set okay so now we have gone through all the characters we have gone through all the characters so now we'll be returning what we'll be returning the answer which is nothing but 4 right so i hope you understood the problem statement the logic part and the code as well that i explained parallelly along with the logic so that's it from my side thank you so much for watching this video i i have provided the code in the description but i believe if you are clear with the logic you will be able to write the code by yourself in the programming language that you are comfortable with so thank you so much for watching this video everyone bye bye